Hello, this is me Maria and welcome to today's video where we will be delving into the fascinating world of weaving. Whether you are a beginner looking to learn the basics or someone curious about the different types of weaving techniques. Weaving is an ancient art form that has been practiced for thousands of years dating back to the earliest civilizations. It involves intertwining threads or fibers to create textiles, fabrics and patterns. So, the form simple handheld hand looms to complex automated machinery, weaving has evolved significantly over time, yet its essence remains rooted in craftsmanship and creativity. So, in this, basically in this video, I will tell you about the fundamentals of weaving, its definition, its basic types and how you create different patterns through your creativity okay so including the essential tools and materials needed to get started as well as the various type of weaving techniques commonly used today whether you are interested in traditional methods like plan weaving twill weaving basket weaving or more advanced techniques such as tapestry and jacquard weaving we will cover it all but in this session this in part one we only cover the traditional methods and its type which will help you to produce your class assignment so first of all as you show it shows on screen that the lot of diff different uh, boxes are visible and different patterns with two di different colors the plan weave the twill weave the check weave and lot of many so first of all we are going on the screen which is the uh, weaving basic definition it's available on Google you can see so weaving basic definition is the process of interlacing two sets of yarns together to come form a woven fabric structure so as you know about the two sets which are the two sets number one the warp and number two is weft so warp is always in a vertical form okay in a portrait form and the weft is also in a horizontal form and the uh, landscape form okay so either you are doing work on traditional methods like tradi uh, traditional methods when we start learn about the technique and its simply implementation so we only focus on your frame so now if you have a wooden frame uh, with four sticks wooden simple wooden frame so you first warp it with a one thread okay if you want to do uh, work in different colors so you must be uh, you know look at the contrast and the understanding how you want to produce it so first you just focus on the your thread and its contrast so, so first of all we are going on the seven weave patterns for the introduction and the and types of understanding how you understand the method and the amplification so the seven weave patterns to know twill basket weave satin and more so these are seven basic techniques in weaving which is used uh, in a different fabric so number one the uh, first of all i am telling you the introduction about the these all seven so there are many different weave patterns out there all of which create different fabrics but knowing the difference between some of the most common weave can be challenging so today we are providing you with a general overview uh, of some of the most common weave patterns and how they are made so number one plan weave so plan weave is a very basic weaving technique which is used on the normal lawn, cotton, uh, linen stuff which we wear in our daily routine. So plan weave is the most fundamental type of textile weave which forms a strong, durable and versatile cloth. So it's a... In this image you can see a closure graph picture which help you to understand about plan weave in a closure lens so I can um, I think you just take it as a one up and one down uh, white which these are the white uh, lines 
are warp and these gray lines are weft so warp thread you never can't do anything with warp threads you just use them according to your weft thread like this one gray one so this is like one up then one down then one down one up one down one up so it is a plan b so okay one up one down so number two uh we are here so number two is a 12 weave so 12 weave is a basically used in denim denim it means uh jeans jeans stuff denim it's a uh, lot of products made from 12 weave technique which is, which are jackets uh, denim pants, denim bags, denim shoes, denim laptop uh, bags. In the interior, in in a apparel, uh, people use denim technique for the production. So here is the basic definition of twill. Twill is among of most widely used weaves within textile production. Easily identified by its pattern of diagonal lines. So. Diagonal, uh, diagonal lines is a very important key which you re should remember always when you discuss in a classroom or in a live presentation. So, twill weave is a use to create a strong fabric such as tweed, pyrbidine and of course denim. Okay. So, the warp thread will be remain same and the weft thread we will play around again. We will play with the weft. So, how we use weft? as per warp will respond us so uh, i can just tell you in a very uh, i think smart words which can be the two down two up then two down two up so plan we are one up one down and warp uh, 12 is two up two down two up two down so it's a form of the uh, staircase like a staircase like you see so a uh, stairs let me show you on Google. Uh, here is it. See. So when we are talking about um, where we can find a very good example which can help you to understand. Mm -hmm. Let me search it again. Twelve stairs except twelve weave. Okay, we need to tell Google in a correct way. So here's it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Here is it. So did you focus on this graph? one two three four so it's it in a form of you will do the weaving according to numbering okay if you first make a graph or a key sketch then it will be easy to perform your counting and uh, play with weft thread okay so i i just want to show you the stairs example for this area you can just focus on my mouse so it shows the stair one two three four st steps okay so let me back on this page so i hope this gives you clarity if you make the graph as shows in, in this image and you just mark the numbers one two three four so you just move according to your numbers okay so what they tell us about more as you can see form and above diagram so uh, let me show you again as you see from the above diagram 12 weave is a formed by passing the weft yarn under and over multiple warp yarns in an alternating sequence which creates a diagonal ripped pattern on fabric surface okay so if you are using uh, for suppose on your hand uh, hand weaving method it's it's uh, you have a, a jute or you have a makrana or you have any paper or you have any other material like any uh, plastic thread or uh, any uh, shopping bags stripes plastic stripes so you just 
focus on the diagonal ribbed pattern okay so when you make five to six lines it will shows either you are doing it correct way or there is some corrections so as i uh, told you it's mainly used for denim so they are giving us the examples okay so number three is satin weave satin is uh, now we are not talking about satin in next uh, uh, video we will discuss it later so there here is a basket weave which is included your assignment so basket weave is a basic highly similar to plan weave remember the same plan weave pattern is followed but where with two or more yarns combined and woven is one the number of yarn used in even the consistent throughout so where is the diagram here is it so it's a so easy and understandable uh, like you are if you are doing 12 weave so there is you are playing with two yarns uh, two sets like two warp and two weft two warp sorry uh, we again uh, see this for clarification uh, yes if you are doing a uh, 12 weave you are playing with two up and two down okay but if you are working on the basket weaving it's just visible that you are two down doing and two up then again two down and two up okay so you just make a different patterns with the color options if you are using three colors or four colors you just play the around colors like you are doing uh, if if first first trade you are uh, interlinked with the red colors then you can use different two yellow tones then again you are repeating the red one so it will create a pattern okay but when you see you are weaving uh, method it sh directly shows it's a basket weaving if they have any examples i am show you showing you okay uh, this creates a most textured fabric that great uh, greater emphasizes the checkboard pattern of the plan weave okay so here is a, a lot of different different types like jacquard and uh, dobby and last one is lino we will discuss it later but now i am just showing you different patterns which will help you in to making a uh, contrast in your work weaving uh, dif different weaves sorry different weave patterns and i might need to write patterns and contrasts okay contrast patterns here we go um if i am talking about like um I want to give you a very simple example which will help you to produce your work. Uh, okay, see, this is the uh, frame which you are, you which you all have, the wooden frame. So basically, um, okay, so like it shows the it's a plan B one up one down, but they are playing. contrast okay so you think about it how you can make uh, your work very interesting and very creative with color contrast it focus on colors so if you are changing the colors and you are changing the stripes so you are creating the pattern so it will it will be more more good for your work if you play with colors process uh, will show weaving when you do the, uh, weaving with different colors it will shows a different pattern so it will curious the viewer or a teacher or a, a colleague fellow class me your classmate how you do that but if you only can play for creative assignment in, with colors in the weaving technique okay how you uh, think about colors your work will more interesting at the end so here i am showing you just simple process 
about the pattern how they create this assignment and uh, through pattern through colors it's very it's quite very interesting in in a final image okay so just uh, number one i am i have just want to tell you just focus on uh, your graph first of all and then you make a key sketch where you are only draw your pattern how you will repeat your three types like plan weave twill weave and basket weave okay so if you have a key sketch you just need to follow the key sketch and you will you will finish your work at the end okay so if you want anything more regarding this just write in comment box i will uh, give you a detail again a detailed video as per your required topic but focus on these three and the focus on the color contrast because in weaving the color and the contrast is very important because it will it will show your pattern it will show your creativity and it will show your understanding regarding work okay look at this picture so these are a lot of options on google you can also search by yourself and uh, just write in comment comment box if, you, if this video is <laughs> It, it, this video gives you clarity and uh, let me more if you want anything more regarding this and also uh, the other four types we will discuss later 